boys and the girls once again welcome to power kings this is the day that we stand the bible together teacher makena welcome each of you our boys and the girls and our dear lovely parents thank you always for keeping watching on this learning together and know god together it's a wonderful day that our god has given to us as you usually do we close our eyes we put our hands together and pray heavenly father thank you for giving us the gift of the life you alone you deserve our worship you alone be glorified you alone to be honored forgive us our sins as boys and the girls and our dear parents whatever we may have committed before thee forgive us the grant us this day and blessings that will keep us alive knowing you and even drawing us closer to you as children protect us from any hidden agenda of the satan that may destroy our lives furthermore in this section help us to learn more about you for this is the prayer of faith in jesus name amen once again boys and girls we are learning the bible story last saturday we were doing an episode about there is reward in obedience now today i want us to learn what happens to people who does not disobey god you know there are people also in the bible who did not did not obey god they disobeyed god and something happened to them until they did what God had purposed them to do. Now, what are we saying today? There is punishment for people who does not obey God. Even this, you remember us talking of Daniel and the scaring sleepover. They are sleeping with lions, good friends, and they are, they are playing together. But today, we are going to see another story from the book of Jonah. Chapter number 1, verse 1 to 17. In this story, you will learn Jonah is a messenger of God. He had a job to do. And God instructed him from the story, Jonah, you have to go to Nineveh and do my work of telling people about me and what I'm going to tell you. To tell them those specific people of the Nineveh. But in those days, Nineveh was not a good country. People were fighting, people who had disobeyed God, and they were doing all bad manners things. They were disobeying God, they were disobeying government. There was evil everywhere. And God, when He watched them from heaven, He was like, I'm not happy with my people. He was unhappy. Some Sometimes God, when we do bad behaviors, when we do wrong things, he is not happy with us. That's how now, the way our parents sometimes, you see, when you do something wrong, you play a rough game, you go, you, 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 you don't finish your food when you are given, our parents become unhappy. That's how God became unhappy because people of Nineveh, they were disobeying him. He is like Jonah. I want you to go to Nineveh. Tell those people I'm going to destroy them. Eh? When Jonah heard that, he was like, God, Nineveh, those are bad people. I can't go there. God told him you are going to go to people in Nineveh. Tell them I'm unhappy with them and I'm going to destroy them if they don't repent. Guess what? Jonah did not agree. He said to God, I'm not going to, to go to Nineveh. And Jonah went and got a ticket to go towards another wrong direction. He boarded a ship and decided, I'm going to run away from God. Jonah started his journey. Instead of going to Nineveh, where God had told him to go, he started going to Tarasis. He went paid for a ticket 
like the way now we pay for tickets, even our parents, they pay for tickets to go to uh, America, they, to Canada, you know, to Dubai, China. He said, now, God, you don't know what you are saying. You are telling me to go to bad people to Nineveh? I'm not going there. I'm going to go to Tarasis. Hey, he started his journey to Tarasis. Guess what, boys and girls? God is so amazing. And when God says, Makena, Victor, or whoever, you boy or the girl or our parents, you are going to do something, you will do it. When they started to go to Tarasis, when they're in the middle of ocean, guess what? There was a lot of storms coming. And the ship started going upside down. There was a blow. People were scared. They started screaming. They took all their luggage, all their, 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 their things, started putting to the ship so that it can be a bit uh, heavy, not to uh, uh, stop sinking. Yeah? They started getting water out of the ship, but they continued sinking. Hey, Jonah was like there watching as me is making this ship to, to, to sink. I disobeyed God. But here now, he had no option. God is the one who made the weed to come. The storms, the blow and the waves all start happening because he wanted to point out and reach Jonah. When the sailors and the people started screaming, what now are we going to do? Jonah shouted and cried out, take me and throw me in the water because I'm the one who is making this uh, ship to uh, to, to, to sink and draw the waves and what this destruction is happening, I disobeyed God. God he wanted me to go to Nineveh, but I'm running away to another direction. Guess what? The sailors got him. They didn't want, but they didn't, they didn't have another option because they needed to save their life. Jonah shouted, there is no other way, not unless you throw me to the water. That's the time you are going to be saved. Then they threw him to the water. Guess what, boys and girls? There in the water, there was a big fish. God had just commanded the fish to wait for Jonah. The fish swallowed Jonah. Do you think Jonah died in the stomach of the fish? When the fish, fish swallowed him, Jonah started praying there, going to save him. Now he is there inside. But you remember, he did, not disobey, he did not obey God, he disobeyed. Now the punishment is that fish itself, it has to take Jonah to Nineveh. Fish swallowed Jonah. For three days in the water, Jonah is the, the stomach of fish. The, the, the fish traveled up to Nineveh. Then it is swallowed. It vomited Jonah to the dry land of Nineveh. Can you imagine? Jonah was going to Tarasis, running away from God. Here God makes Jonah to be swallowed by fish after the storms and all the destruction in the ocean. Jonah now ends to the Nineveh. Here he is. And God tells him, you are going to preach to these people. Tell them to obey me or I destroy them. That's what Jonah did. But he did it hard way. Because God had to force him. He, has to, he had to use his means of transporting him through the stomach of the fish. There is punishment when we don't obey God. As us boys and the girls, we want to go in a correct way. We don't want God to use his own ways. Because our God is so powerful. That's one of the character of God. Nothing he can't do. He says we obey him. We pray that we may do his work. Each of us, like Jonah, he was the messenger. He had a message to tell people of Nineveh. God has given us message to obey and be good boys and girls. Even when we walk around the school, when other children see us, they can see the message of God. They can want to love God to walk in the ways of the Lord. My lovely boys and girls, even our dear friends, 
let love God and always listen what he says. The Bible is the word of God. When we don't listen to it, something will swallow us like John who was swallowed by big fish. But when we obey, we listen to the voice of the Bible, God is going to bless us. We are going to be beautiful girls and the boys to live in the house of God to tell of his dreams. This time in school, be obedient. At home, be obedient. Read the word of God always. Pray every time and obey what our parents, our teachers, and all our loving people tell us to do according to the word of God. And you are going to be blessed. I love you so much. God loves you. See you next Saturday. Here again at Power Kings. We stand the word of God together. We learn about God. I love you so, so much. Bible story is our food every day as children of God. God bless you. I love you, boys and girls. Bye-bye.